Well, get ready, everybody. It is tax time once again. And if these forms look familiar, well, it means that it is time to crunch some numbers in preparation to file your taxes by April 18th. And if it brings you a little anxiety, well, you are not alone. We've got some information this morning to help make this process just a little easier. Joining us now is certified financial planner Dan Hernandez from Milestone Wealth Management. Dan, always good to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You are here. You're in the hot seat. <laughs> Of course, this is a time where a lot of us have some anxiety about, you know, filing the taxes, getting the paperwork. Where is everything? It's messy. Yeah. yeah. No, and, you know, look, it's always uncertain. It causes anxiety because people don't know. Things change year to year. Tax laws change. You don't know if you're going to owe money, if you're going to get money back. So it's always an anxious time. Yeah, well, you're going to get us straight this morning because um, even before we get to some of those tips, you're saying that also refunds, that's what we're hearing, could even be smaller this year. Yeah, some things changed. Uh, it, you know, during the pandemic, there were some things in place. The child care credit was greater before. It's, go, it's going back to normal now. Uh, certainly a lot of uh, uh, unemployment payments, you know, change. So, so yeah, it's going to be a different kind of year. There's some things to make this process easier. In fact, you tell us uh, the first thing you want us to do is really collect and gather that documentation, get some things in order. What should we have? Yeah, I mean, you're, look, think about your income sources. You're going to have a W-2 if, if you have a job. You're going to have a W-2 reflecting that income. Uh, if you're self-employed, you are you may have a 1099. You, you, if not, you'll have to show your revenue sources. If you have you know bank accounts, investment accounts, they'll generate 1099s. So you want to make sure you have everything that you can, you know, if you're doing your own taxes or right. if you have a tax preparer. And as you're going along the process, I mean, what if you need um, a payment plan? If you know you're going to owe or you need information, you know, from last year, I feel like sometimes navigating the IRS website and getting that to them is not easy. Yeah, it's not. It, it's gotten easier. So you can go on irs.gov. Uh, you can look at past year's payments. You can set up a payment plan on there. Uh, and see where you're at. So you can set up payment plans. They're available, different kinds of plans, depending on how much you owe. But it's not it's not that hard to navigate, and, and it's you know helpful to go on there and kind of see where you're at. Yeah, and in fact, the Biden administration talking about making that easier for folks uh, along the way, especially for this tax season. Yeah. Uh, a taxpayer bill of rights. I want to know what this is. What's it all about? Uh, the, the IRS publishes a taxpayer bill of rights. Uh, the, the important, you know, the, there's a number of factors in there. The important things to remember are you have the right to appeal. You know, you have the right to question what what the IRS is saying you owe even after you file your tax return. The, the IRS can only, you know, they're working with the information you give them uh, and, and maybe the information is incomplete. Maybe there's something they don't know. So, okay. you, you know, you can question what happens. Uh, you have the right to, to retain uh, representation. So, so those are the three important ones. You know, you have the right to appeal. You have the right to question it. You have the right to be heard. So you can go in front of a, uh, a an independent board and say, look, oh, wow. this is what I think I should owe based on this. And uh, bring what you have and lay it out. Absolutely. That is your right to do that. Yep. And, it, you know, personnel shortages, you're saying some of those still exist, even though there's been this effort to hire. Yeah, well, the, the IRS did uh, put out that they wanted to hire, you know, X number of agents. But like the rest of the world, it's hard to hire people. So th they're still reporting shortages of personnel. So uh, it's, it's not going to be unusual for, you know, last year people talked about refunds taking months. Yeah. And uh, it, it's probably going to happen again. Anything, I think, beyond that, you're saying, I think we need to get help with this process. Don't be afraid to ask. I mean, sometimes there's clinics and, and uh, you know, ways people can do this. Yeah, uh, look, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of hiring professionals. Uh, a lot of people do do their own taxes using you know some of the software that's out there and, and the software is very good it prompts you for questions but but look if you have you know certain situations that are maybe more complicated you're you're self-employed you you had a you know, you had a life change, uh, children, you got married, things that changed from the previous years, you know, I think a professional can, uh, yeah, can save you money. A little more tedious there. Yep. So make sure you get some professional help to do that. Dan, we'll have more on our website on where folks can find you. Great information. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having and, me. Uh, here we go. Happy tax season. Yeah, another tax season. That's Thanks. it. <laughs> well,